Yeah, he basically outplayed me. Usually, like, I'll get upset if I lose or I feel like I lose, like I shouldn't have lost the person got lucky, but he just outplayed me. There's nothing I can say. You know what I, I feel like I learned a lot in terms of, like, because a lot of what I do works on so many other people, and it's kind of like, even though I lost, it's kind of like refreshing to know that there's still a lot that I don't know, you know, and a lot that I need to really like, work on. If you if you watch the video, he, he picks Sentinel, right? He's flying, he, you know, he goes in the flight mode where the, the character will fly. Basically, you have to chase him because he can hit you from a distance. And it's actually rare to play a really good Sentinel player, so it was hard for me to adapt. Like, I didn't know how to catch him. And usually, when other people play Sentinel, I can catch them easy, I can do whatever I want, but like I said, it was kind of like refreshing to realize that there's still like a lot to learn. Like, after the match, I was, I was really thinking, like, wow, I really need to learn how to catch him, you know? Because it's very rare that I play really good ones. So you need to play, like, a good, a really expert player at each character. Yeah. So I learn, you know, so I can learn. You know, that's actually a big reason why I played in, I played in the first place, you know? Because there's no, there's not much fun in, like, playing for money if you can just scrape the guy, you know? You know, yeah, yeah. I lost a hundred. If it was, like, I wouldn't have bet that. I'm not irresponsible with my money, so. If, if it was really a huge shit, I mean, it sucks. Don't get me wrong. You know, everyone could use a hundred bucks, but I think it was worth it, you know? It was worth it. You don't take any of the trash talk you personally. No, no. Oh, he, there was this one part in the beginning where, like, I don't mind the trash talk, but he touched me. Like, you know, he's getting in my face and, like, spitting and shit. I don't know. But I don't really, like, I don't really want people in my face like that. You can talk all the trash you want. I know, like, none of it was personal or anything like that, but it gets a little out of hand sometimes. He's actually known for that, for, for talking a lot of trash, but I expected that going in. It's game over! John says something! I think it's done! Hey! It's kind of like messed up right now. You want me to put it on? You know, it's really hard to find these things in the summer. So if you don't stock up in the winter, you know. Well, um, a lot of people don't really know, but when you slide your hand across the buttons, because that's required for a lot of the moves that you do, your fingers can get stuck. You know, if you're sliding, or for any reason your fingers will just get stuck, but with the glove, there's no, uh, you know, problem with that. And also when you mash all the buttons, and you're pressing quickly, um, you know, you can mash faster and not hurt any of your fingers or anything like that. It's really, it's really become, at first it was kind of ridiculous, but it's really become a sign of like the serious players now. No, he's not, he didn't really pick a character where he had to use that movement with his hand. He didn't really have to slide too much. That's really more of a Magneto. When people pick Magneto, they have to do that. So I was playing Magneto about half of the time, so I needed to do that. So it's really a matter of preference, you know. Some people can play fun without a glove, but me personally, I'd rather just use And I was really like, I don't really travel too often, so for me to go out there and then have to play him, I had to play him my third round, which is practically immediately. So for me to make the decision in my mind that, you know what, I gotta like play my best in everything. <laughs> I gotta play my best and everything, you know, so I was really glad that I was able to step up. I mean, a lot of people say what you will about the match, you know, a lot of people say I shouldn't have won or anything like that, but I think the, the biggest accomplishment was kind of mental, you know, to not really, like, give in to the pressure, you know, to still play your best no matter what's going on, you know, so that's probably my most memorable. Well, you have to be. I mean, it's a lot. It takes. A, there's a lot of mental uh, aspects to Marvel and any game, for that matter, any highly competitive game. I mean, if you're playing a, a rail sport or you know hockey or whatever you're doing, you know, there's always that that question you ask yourself, like, you know, what am I gonna am I gonna crack under the pressure or am I gonna play my best? You know, and over time it becomes easier to play your best. 
and not be nervous because I even though I lost pretty bad I wasn't nervous the entire time you know that's why I don't really feel upset because I don't I'm not kicking myself right now like saying oh you know you know I thought I that would get to me you know yeah I mean it, it you get you get so used to it and even in real life like after a while you get you know people are yelling screaming in your face talking trash in the back like you just learn to tune all of it out. You have to, or else you're not ever going to make it. You know? Cool. Thank you.